Hello friends, it's me Camila, the Geek Chick. How are you guys today? I am in my room and as you can see, I'm gonna move for a minute. My room is a huge mess. This would be the clothes that I am taking to LA with me and I am packing and I am a little bit freaking out. <laughs> because as you can see, this is pretty chaotic. So I wanted to do a how-to geeky chick on packing because I think it's really important especially when you're going on big trips or like even small trips you just gotta know how to optimize the space in your suitcase so because my trip is so big I'm literally moving away from my house here in Bogota Colombia and I'm moving to LA and I have to pack my whole life and it is quite a big challenge what I decided to do first was to take everything out of my closet and kind of decide what I'm taking and what I'm not taking. So I made a huge pile, as you can see, of stuff. I got dresses, I got shirts, there's shorts and pants somewhere over there. And I just decided to take it all out of the closet to just make myself feel like it's really happening. This is really real. And then I am getting advice on my cousin and my mom on how to pack it because I have to optimize as much space as possible. Clearly, you can't bundle it up and like put it like that because nothing will fit. And I haven't even begun with like jewelry and shoes and makeup, so this is just the clothes. And my cousin and my mom have a really great packing technique. So the best way to pack and optimize space is to create these little rolls with the clothes because they really save up a lot of space. This is a t-shirt. These would be jeans. As you can see, they're like about the same size at the end. And this is a dress that has actually ended up being smaller than the t-shirt. So in this way, you can save up a lot of space. I really like the idea of the rolls because um, I only get two suitcases to travel halfway around the world, which is kind of crazy. But I think that it really does help out a lot. And I'm going to teach you how to do it with a shirt. So this would be a dress shirt that I'm taking because I'm working. Side note, gotta know where you're going and what you're packing because you don't want to really end up with like a bunch of stuff that you're not really going to use. I'm taking mostly everything because I gotta be ready for anything because I'm living there and I don't know if I'm going to wake up and be like, I want to go to the beach or I want to run a canyon run. I don't know. So you take the shirt and you kind of fold it, it doesn't need to be perfect, but to where it's the least possible area. So you see I folded the sleeves and this is the end. And you can start on the top or on the bottom, but what you're going to do once you fold it is you're going to start rolling. So I'm going to start on the top and you start rolling it like this. It sounds pretty simple, it's kind of tricky, but as you can see, my big giant shirt is now a little roll. And then what you do is you put the lightest and like the smallest stuff on the bottom of the suitcase and you start putting the heavier stuff on top and you kind of mix and match with shoes and you gotta really feel it out to see where the holes in your luggage are so that you can put like, I don't know, your jewelry there or your makeup. I usually take my makeup on the carry-on because I don't want it to break and I'll take better care of it and you just carry on. Items that you shouldn't roll like this, probably see clean tops like this because they'll get really tangled. And those you should probably pack backwards so that the sequins aren't, don't get tangled and ripped apart. So I would probably do it like this. You can't really tell but it's backwards. And big chunky sweaters because it's not really going to make a difference like the one I'm wearing right now. If I roll it, it's still going to occupy like ridiculous amounts of space, so be careful of that. And just try to feel out where the holes in your luggage are, because you'll feel it. Like this side feels heavier, this side feels a little lighter, I feel like there's like kind of a space here, I can fit my shoe here. Never try to pack the shoes together, try to separate them so that you can um, optimize the space. So this is clearly not going very well right now, but it will. And... Good luck with your packing. It's summer already, so I'm sure everybody's going really awesome places. Tell me if the 
tips for packing helped and today's to come on my left long ago. And if you like this video and you like my other videos, then I hope you guys subscribe to my blog, my Twitter, my Instagram. I love you guys. Um, remember, if you have any questions on packing, you can always comment on this video. And I will do my best to help you.